All right, folks, it's time for another Sip Happen session. Uh, today, we're going to go over this 2020 Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from the Tooth and Nail Winery in Paso Robles. Check this out. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open this wine. We're going to decant it, and then we're going to taste it and have a little tasting. It's kind of a special tasting. Uh, Chris found out about and then um, we, there's also kind of a app that the Tooth and Nail Winery uh, utilizes for for their um, labels and uh, we're going to show you guys that as well all right let's go all right let's open this thing up all right so while he's opening the bottle I wanted to mention we did visit Paso Robles in May of 2018 best trip of my life really enjoyed it we visited several wineries out in Paso Robles area over a couple day period and one of the wineries we visited was Tooth and Nail Winery. Um, the main reason I wanted to go there was not familiar with their wines at all but I was uh, told that it was shaped like a castle, the winery itself, with an actual moat and a bridge and stairs you walk over the moat. So, I mean, why would you not want to go visit that? Distracted by the pouring. So, uh, we pulled up. It was amazing. Couldn't believe my eyes seeing this castle and this moat and this bridge kind of walking over the moat. You walk in, uh, very medieval decor, beautiful decor, uh, very welcoming staff, and the wines we had during the tasting were just fantastic. And the great news about this wine is you can find it at your local grocery store, I guess, depending on where you live. But in our area here in Northern Virginia, we actually have it here in the local grocery store, which is great. Yeah, it's kind of an eclectic uh, winery um, and has medieval type things on the inside. They're mm -hmm. they're very um, they're very eccentric on their labeling on the labeling of their wine, uh, and then and there's another reason why their labels are kind of uh, uh, give a little extra. Hmm. Yeah, is that a is that a pre prequel? <laughs> <laughs> is that a prequel? <laughs> So what he's trying to say is that the uh, Tooth & Nail Winery has an app that you can download uh, that actually animates their labels and it's really, really amazing to see. Very fruit forward aroma on this wine. Oh wow, that is good. And when I say fruit forward, I don't mean heavily fruit forward. I mean just wonderful aromas of blueberries and raspberries and it's just a wonderful overall aroma. I'm getting some serious leather glove on this. <laughs> You're gonna say Are that you? every time aren't you? <laughs> Did we tell the leather, leather glove story? I can't remember. Oh, I don't know. Wow. This is good I have to say. This is very good. Definitely getting some spice to it as well. It's kind of a nice mixture of, um, again, not heavy fruit, just a little bit of fruit, um, and then some of the spices. It's it's a really nice uh, cab sauv for sure. Now, Chris, why do we have this uh, candy up here? Well, normally I've been trying not to eat a lot of candy lately. In fact, I asked the hubby to remove all of the Halloween candy from the house, um, but. I got an email from Tooth & Nail Winery where on their distribution for their newsletter and the email said, do you have leftover Halloween candy? We have an idea for that. And they actually sent me a list of the various wines that they sell and the types of candy that would go with it. So for this particular wine, they suggested chocolates such as Hershey's Kisses, Snickers, and Kit Kat bars. So I went back through our Halloween candy and I do have one Snickers, but I also have Twix and Milky Way and some Tootsie Rolls. So I thought it'd be kind of nice just to try a little bit of chocolate just to kind of see how that goes. <laughs> nice, well, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> you want the Snickers? I'll do the No, no, you, you can do the Snickers. If you insist. I'll do the Milky Way. Okay. Mmm. And go ahead and get you a Milky Way or a Snickers or a candy bar and while you're watching. Might as well. 
Or go to your local grocery store and get a bottle of this tooth and nail cab sob. Wow. <laughs> this is really good. I'd love to lie to you and tell you you shouldn't do it, but mm. wow. That is really good with the chocolate. It's interesting. It is good. And I, what I love about it is I'm not a big port wine. I'm not a big dessert wine fan. I know a lot of those, you know, when you go to a tasting at a winery, they'll have a piece of chocolate with it. That's not my thing. I don't like that huge sweetness of the uh, port or dessert wine. So I'd actually enjoy chocolate more with something like this with a good cab salve or something. So this is actually perfect. Yes, uh, she's right. Um, you can definitely... Uh, Tastes initially, there's a sweetness to it, um, but the candy definitely dulls down the sweetness. But it still uh, tastes like it'd go really well with a steak dinner. Yes, yeah, it's still a very um, nice and bold wine for sure. Deep and dark, um, even though it has the fruit forward aroma, you get the spice and definitely a pretty color as well. You know what else I see in this? Legs. Legs. It's got legs on it. <laughs> Beautiful legs as you swirl it around in the glass. Very, very delicious wine. I can definitely see slow sipping on this next couple of hours, you know, watching a good TV show and uh, maybe after having a good steak. Maybe I'll convince them to fire up the grill. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, so the label. Oh, yes. You guys have seen this. Uh, Pretty interesting label. There's a, looks like um, a young lady with a motorcycle helmet, helmet on, but uh, it's pretty cool looking actually. So um, I think we can make it look even cooler. When you go to the App Store, um, whether you have an Android or Apple, depending on what your uh, phone is, go to the App Store that you normally go to and download or do a search for tooth and nail and then should pop up tooth and nail. I think it's called AR at the end of it. Um, once you get the downloaded, go into the app, it'll ask you if you're 21 and over, and then you click on yes, and then it'll come up and say, do you want to start? And that's when you want to put your phone in front of the label of the wine to make sure you've, it has like a little window in the app to make sure you've got the label in a good distance. And once you do that, it'll start playing, it'll start um, animating, which is really cool. So we're going to show that to you now. Yeah, we're going to demonstrate that. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to start. You ready? Yeah. Let me get it closer. So that's what we're talking about. All right, so that's what's uh, cool about these labels from Tooth and Nail. They have, uh, you know, every one of their different bottles, they'll have different labels and have little different themes per bottle or label. One other cool thing I wanted to share was um, before we went out to Paso Robles, I'd found a bottle of wine at a local um, cork and fork that was here in Northern Virginia. And it was just a random bottle. I remember uh, my husband had mentioned that a year or two before then he'd been to Paso Robles on business. I know, tough duty, right? Um, so he'd been <laughs> <laughs> a couple years before we, we went together to go visit Paso, I found this bottle of wine that had, and the only reason I grabbed it was, one, it was a Cab Sauv. Okay, there was more than one reason. <clears throat> there was a, one, five, seven. There were several reasons I grabbed the bottle of wine. One of them was that it was from Paso Robles. Two was that it was a Cab Sauv, so I knew my husband would like it. But three, more importantly, the bottle had a volcano scene, and it looked like it was erupting kind of in the background. It was the most amazing label I'd ever seen. And so we tried the wine, the wine was amazing, fantastic. And I couldn't find it again. Didn't know what it was called. I threw the bottle away, not realizing it, not thinking about it. Um, I know, stupid, right? And um, we actually went out to Paso, not knowing the connection at all. We walk in, again, we're at this winery because it's shaped like a castle and it has a moat. We walk in, we're doing a tasting. I look across the room on one of the counters and there is this magnum-sized bottle, I kid you not, volcano label. And I looked over at David and I was beside myself and I asked the tasting guy, 
oh my gosh, do you guys make this wine? And he said, yes. He says, that's rabble wine. We actually make that here or we sell it here. I couldn't believe it. I was ecstatic. Um, so those wine, rabble wine, used to be sold there at Tooth & Nail. I believe they were bought out or there's some kind of, I don't know the whole story, but I know that someone else bought them, I believe. They're still labeled in the rabble. So check those out too. But those also have the animation. You can download the app for rabble and animate the label as well. Um, Right, and that's R A B B L E, Rabble. Yes, thank you. R A B B L E. Um, Just making it. <laughs> fantastic wine again. Animated labels. Wonderful place. So, hopefully, if you're ever in the Paso area, make sure you go check out Tooth and Nail. Maybe check out Robert Hall, as we've done a sip happens for there. Tobin James will be doing in a little while, maybe one or two sessions from now. Um, you can't go wrong in Paso, and I hope that we can get back there very, very soon. Right. That's Are you good. drinking without me? Maybe. <laughs> wow. It's just amazing. Just the few minutes that it's been open and decanted, the aroma is just amazing. Wonderful. Now, on their website, they have um, specific uh, tasting notes about this uh, wine. It says that uh, it has aromas of fresh black raspberry cherry and some uh, blue fruit. Uh, it says it's rich and energetic, uh, cassis, blueberry, and raspberry to the palate. Oh, it actually talks about some of the spice that I was picking up too. Spice, and it says dried leaves. Interesting. It's an interesting description. No mention. Of leather glove. Of leather glove. I don't know why. I'm getting that on the back of the, <laughs> on the, back of the palate. I'm pretty sure we uh, told the story about leather glove. I think we did. One of the previous Sip Happens. You'll have to check out our previous Sip Happens sessions to see which one it was and drop us a comment and remind us. <laughs> uh, oh, one of the final tasting notes, it says it's a rich wine balanced with ample structure and a long, pleasant finish. I can concur with that. Yeah, I'm definitely getting much more of the structure the more that I sip on the wine. I'm tasting much more. There's, uh, there's been many more flavors to it and a bolder structure to it. Oh, one other important thing, uh, $26 for the bottle is what we paid. And um, I think my husband recently went to grocery store Harris Teeter uh, where they were having a 20% off case sale, I think yeah. that's what you, so something to think about too. If you go to the grocery store and they have these types of wines, um, you can never go wrong with a wine from Paso in my eyes. Don't tell the Virginia wine people I said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us for another Sip Happens session. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, show us some support. And if you're so inclined, it'd be great if you also subscribe to our channel. We really love all the support from the fans out there and family and friends. And um, stay tuned. We'll be doing another Sip Happens and probably a California wine, maybe a Virginia wine. You never know. Thanks a lot, folks. See you next time. Goodbye. Sorry. All right. Oh, yeah. That's much better. I can see myself now. I thought you said to look better in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Is there enough light? No. And what are we going to do, Chris? <laughs> what were we going to do? We, I didn't know that was my part. And we did visit Paso Robles and... We... <clears throat> we... Uh, best sound, cork pop. Say something, Chris. Testing, one, two, three, testing.